Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a very versatile Vixen micro links install and this is my model's hair. So this is the length, the natural length of her hair and this is her hair texture. So we're going to be using extensions from um, Y wigs and we're going to make her hair look longer and do it in a way that she could style it in multiple ways. So this is the hair we're using and this is Y wigs hair and I'm going to be using their Yaki texture micro links hair so in the box i have three bundles of the hair but i'm not going to use all but i i will use about two and a half <laughs> but i have three bundles and the texture is yaki so it's a little bit coarse which is perfect so it's going to blend with my model's hair and um yeah so i'm just going to let you enjoy the install because i've done micro links before but this is going to be a super versatile technique so just keep on watching So another thing I'm doing is to take less amount of leave outs at the very back, at the bottom, like right here, okay, like the back right here. <laughs> this is because I don't want it to be too obvious when she has the extensions in her hair and she, you know, wear her hair down, it's not like looking separated, you know, you don't want the length of your hair to separate from the extension. So that's why I took a less amount of leave out at the very, very, very back, okay? And this is also important if your hair is shorter. Luckily, she has, you know, kind of a good length of hair. So, <laughs> but if your hair is shorter, you don't want to take too much leave out at the very back.
All right, now I'm satisfied with the leave out that I sectioned. So now we have our equal four quadrant. I tried my best to make it equal, <laughs> even though um, we usually have more hair on the left side of our head, but I tried. So now what I'm going to do for the install, okay, I'm going to imagine that that middle braid is not there. So I'm going to start parting in a smile direction, okay. So just pretend like that middle braid is not there and just start parting in a smile direction from one quadrant to the other like this. And then I'm going to start installing the link. So if you're new to microlinks, this white stuff you see is the loop that you use to install the hair. So it's going to make it easy to just pass her natural hair through. And I'm going to use a plier to secure the bid. So this is how to install it. Okay, if you're new to microlinks again, after you pass the hair through, do not push the beads too close to her scalp. Leave a little bit of space and then you just use a plier to clamp it down. Not too hard, but you know, secure enough. Just don't put too much pressure. The plier is strong, so it's going to, you know, clamp the bead easily. So don't overdo it, okay?
all right we're halfway through i hope you saw how i laid the micro links um you kind of want to lay it starting with a smile and as you go up the parts get smaller and smaller you know until you finish it because you don't want it you want it to be seamless you don't want it to be bumpy so you have to lay it like that and now this is how i'm going to lay the front i'm going to start with the smile again and then as i go all the way up the smile gets smaller smaller until there is no smile and again just pretend like there is no braid in the middle and just part across from one quadrant to the other Okay, we're getting closer to the finish line and it's getting even smaller and smaller. So I have a slower video of how I install micro links. If you want a more slower detailed video, I will leave the link to other micro link videos that I've done. If this is your first time and you're not grasping what I'm doing, just check out the links to the videos in the description. Okay guys, so we're basically done. Now I'm going to show you multiple ways you could style this hair before I curl it.
I really like how versatile this technique is and I'm super super glad that this hair blends perfectly with my mother's hair it's as if like they just knew the kind of texture that she has and just like created this yaki texture it just blends so well I love it so that's it for this video if you enjoyed it make sure you give it a thumbs up like subscribe and also don't forget to check out Y Wigs hair I will leave their hair in the description box of this video try it out and let me know what you guys think bye